So, uh, Cousin's Forging actually got fairly close to what I want. I'll just kind of have to like clean up the shape a little bit, mostly along here to make sure that's flat. The back of it, I'll probably leave the same because I like the rough forged look. The handle, of course, I need to grind the shape because it's pretty beefy. I've kind of drawn out an outline here. This will probably just cut off a little bit and just grind it till it feels right. And then, of course, I need to flatten it out so I can put handle scales on it, drill some holes, put my bevels in, which hoping for a blade this short won't take much. But I've been wrong before. So I'm going to go get started on that and quit talking because I'm on time restraints at the moment. And no sleep. Okay, I have everything ground to shape, got a nice edge on it. It wasn't as hard as I figured it was gonna be, mostly because I got it fairly close to what I wanted to begin with. Thank God. So, basically what I have now, also these are 3 16 holes for the brass rods, not overly important, but now what I'm gonna do is stick it in the forge, normalize it, then heat treat it, then of course temper it, so I can glue on my handle scales. Yeah. Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, now that I have everything glued together, or epoxy, I don't know if glue is quite the right term. Not really sure the difference, to be honest. Dumped everything. Now I'm just gonna take a chisel, chisel down a lot of this, then I'm gonna go probably to a flap disc and clean it up, and if I need to touch up the belt sander, I will, but, Hopefully, I can do it with X. It's way easier, and I have a lot to do. So, just gonna just chisel away. The way I'm building this, I don't want the handle here to be above the, or be over the guard. So, I can chisel into it a little bit and just let things kind of fall where they need to.